Concerns surrounding academic integrity have recently come up after university presidents nationwide have been accused of plagiarism. Emma Withrow joining us now for the fact check team to discuss these cases which have uh, brought up well-known names yeah. in academia. Tell us more about that and how they've responded to these allegations. Yeah, so three different college presidents have been accused of plagiarism just in the last year. Claudine Gay from Harvard, Daryl Pines from University of Maryland, and most recently Richard Muma from Wichita State. So Gay already stepped down but Muma and Pines haven't, so both have denied those allegations. But proof of Muma's plagiarism was actually published by the local newspaper, the Kansas Reflector. As for Pines, the University of Maryland's still conducting an investigation, so we're going to have to wait and see what they find. Yeah, ongoing there. Are yeah. there any national standards uh, with regards to plagiarism to make it more clear for colleges and universities? Sounds like it's kind of a gray area. Yeah, it really is, and I would think there would be some sort of standard, but there's just not. There's no universally agreed upon standard for plagiarism. Each school really has their own definition and policies. So according to Cornell's Law School, you can get sued for plagiarism if it infringes on the original author's copyright, patent, or trademark, but it's not necessarily clearly outlined for everybody. Mm, interesting. All yeah. right, Emma, thank you. Later on, Emma will be back to break down plagiarism data among students and the consequences they can face.